Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do another festive makeup look because Christmas is here and New Year's Eve is coming up. So this is the look that I came up with. It is a very fun look with some sparkles to the eyes and some nude lips. But I'm actually going to be giving you guys two other options in case you don't want to go nude. So I hope you like this look and if you want to recreate this look then all you have to do is keep on watching. Alright! So, as always, I'm going to start by priming my eyes and I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot to do that. To apply, I'm going to take my Precision Angled P84 by Sigma. I'm going to prime this lid. I'm going to be taking a angled brush by Morphe and some face powder. And I'm just going to apply that on my brow bone and my crease area just to make everything blend easily but I'm not going to touch my eyelid so the eyeshadow color that I'm going to be using in my crease is this very pretty burnt orange color this one is by Grimace and this is in the color 560 you can use these as an eyeshadow or as a blush and that is also what it says eyeshadow slash rouge which is blush okay um, the thing that I really like about this is that you can choose how you want to carry them you can either leave them in the palette that they come in, which looks like this. It is dirty, excuse that, okay? Um, or you can take them off and stack them, and then you have a little, there's one more, a little stack like this with the lid on top, and this way it's just much easier and much smaller. So I'm going to be taking that color with a blending brush by BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to apply that to my crease generously. As you can tell on the other side, I want this color to be very visible. I'm going to pack it on there and blend it out really, really well. And I'm also going to be dragging that color all the way into my inner corner. I do want it to be lighter in my inner corner, but I do want some color there. So now I'm going to take a clean brush, this is a Sigma E40 blending brush, and I'm just going to go over that to blend it even more. I'm going to do circular motions and windshield wiper motions, whatever the fuck you want to call those things, you know the things on your car that like wipe the rain away and shit, yeah, that motion. Then I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics brush again with some color on it. I'm going to go over that to intensify the color. Okay, so now I'm going to take another Grimace color. This one is a dark brown shade and this is in the color 566. To apply, I'm going to take this blending brush by Sedona Lace. The name has wiped off. I'm sorry. I can't read it. Sorry. It looks like this blend brush. You know, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to take that color and I'm going to deepen that crease. And I'm also going to drag whatever is left on that brush to the inner part. To blend out, I'm going to take that BH Cosmetics blending brush again and just blend that out. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this little Morphe palette. This one is the 06 PC. I'm going to take this color over here with a flat shader brush. This one is by BH Cosmetics. I know this ain't even no eyeshadow, but I'm just weird like that. I'm just going to take that and pop it on my brow bone. Then I'm going to take my Sigma E40 and I'm just going to blend that out. And it leaves you with this very nice transition, which I like. I'm going to take more of that burnt orange, pop it on top. Then take the Sigma again and blend. That's my life, can I say. Next up, I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the colors Black Bean. And I'm just going to pop that on my eyelid. Now I'm going to take... Ew. Ew! Oh. My nails are so dirty. Oh my god, I'm so sorry real life shit up in here okay so now I'm gonna take my little finger and this is, this is the wrong finger <laughs> oh shit I'm so stupid I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna blend that out just tap it 
try to keep it on the lid part and just a little bit towards the crease but not too high up. Now I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics blending brush again, I'm just going to blend that edge out. Next up I'm going to take this water eyeshadow by Kiko Milano and this is in the color 206. So I'm going to take that eyeshadow with my finger because I find that these eyeshadows really work best if you apply it with your fingers. So I'm just going to take that and just tap it on to my lid. Now I'm going to take that BH blending brush again and I'm just going to blend the edge. Now I'm just taking that burnt orange again and I'm just going to go on to that edge holding my brush straight and just blend it out even more. I'm going to switch brushes, take that E40 again. Now I'm just going to go over my eyelid with that brown shade again to bring back the sparkle. E40 and I'm going to go over that edge just one more time. Edge, edge. Taking my Morphe 35O Shimmer Palette, I'm going to take this color over here. I'm going to take that with a small no-name brush that I got off of eBay a decade ago. And I'm just going to apply that color into my inner corner. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, put on some mascara and lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now moving on to my face, I'm going to be priming using the Benefit Professional. For my foundation today, I'm going to be taking this thick foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hills. My color is called Golden. To blend, I'm going to take my buffing brush by Real Techniques. For concealer, I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear and my shade is NC35. Now I know that this foundation looks crazy light on camera. I don't know why, but here in real life, it is my color, so I don't know what's going on. Taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder, I'm going to use this to set my under eyes and also to set my entire face. For my under eyes, we're going to take this contour brush, I think it is, by Real Techniques. I'm going to set the rest of my face using my e.l.f. powder brush. To finish my under eye, I'm going to take this brush by Morphe and this first eyeshadow color that we used. I'm going to take that and run it on my lower lash line. For my waterline, I'm going to take this pencil by Krylon, and this is in number 901. I'm going to run that slightly on my lower lash line as well, like that. Now I'm going to take that same brush again and just blend that out. I'm going to take this palette by Makeup Revolution. This is an ultra contour palette and I'm going to be mixing this three top shades together and to apply I'm going to take this angled brush. This is actually a brush by Zoeva. This is their bamboo set but this is how the bamboo set used to look like. So as you can see I contoured and I sharpened that line using this LA Girl powder and now I'm going to move on to blush. For my blush I'm going to be taking this palette also by Makeup Revolution and this is their Hot Spice palette and I'm going to be taking this color over here to apply on my cheeks and I'm going to use a, another Zueva brush to apply. To highlight, I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I think I'm going to go with a Summer and a Moonstone and mix together. To apply, I'm going to take a little fan brush like this. I'm 
For my lips, I'm going to be taking this liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the color Trust Issues. And lastly, to set my face, I'm going to take my good old MAC Fix Plus. So I wasn't really feeling this lippy that I had on earlier, so I thought I'd give you guys a few options. So I'm wearing two lipsticks on my lips right now. Both of them are by Milani, and the reason that there is a difference in packaging is because this one I got in the States, and then this one I purchased here in Holland. So um, this color, the main color that I have on my lips is called Materialistic, and then this one that I have only in the center of my lips is called Chromatic Addict. So this is option number three. This is Persistence by MAC on its own, a no lip pencil. I absolutely love this color. This is my go-to lipstick whenever I don't know what to wear. I always pop this on my lips because I know it'll look good with any makeup look. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my future videos, then all you have to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye.